Welcome back to the Kathy Raley Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Sam Murray, joined now with Stevenson Women's Lacrosse head coach Kathy Raley. And coach, since the last time we talked, teams 5-1, and one, that one loss to fourth-ranked Mary Washington. Mm -hmm. Close game, 8-6 loss here oh. at home. Uh, before we dive into lacrosse, I'll say congratulations on your 200th oh, career you. win that you got down you. in Florida. Your, your team won six of the last seven. You yeah. seem to be getting better every single day. Talk about the progression of your team. Well, you know, I think it's, there's a couple things in play here. Um, number one, I think that this is an extremely hardworking group. And I think we're in a great mental space right now to work through any mistakes that we're having. So every single game that we have, we talk about what we could get better at and how we're going to do that in the practices in between. And it's seen, every single time they're getting better during practice and then we're showing that we're getting better during those games at whatever we've identified as the problem. So that tells me um, we have a really smart team. They have a really good lacrosse IQ that just keeps getting better every single day. Um, you know, it, it's, they're just not playing like a young group anymore. We're playing like a veteran group, um, which is just wonderful to see. And that's due to their practice ethic. Yeah, you have 10 different goal scorers, mm -hmm. you know, people are, different people are contributing defensively. You know, in the game where you score 21 goals against Elizabethtown, Carly Bowes, your leading scorer, doesn't even score a goal. <laughs> but you're getting contribution from all across the board. Talk, you know, talk about the depth of your team right now. Well, you know, we can go deeper than we have been able to go in the last couple of years, and, and comfortably so. Uh, we're trying to get a lot of freshmen and maybe some sophomores that didn't play a lot last year as much time as we can. Um, we're trying to all different kinds of offense. We're, we're, we're trying to identify where our skill set is with some of these younger players and developing plays that might benefit them or, or take their, their skills into play. Um, it's just, it, they want to be out there. They want to have fun. Um, they're starting to do a little showing off, which is great, and, and creativity, which has just been so fun to watch. Um, you know, it, it's it's hard to scout a team that has 10 different goal scorers. It's really hard to say, hey, you know, we're playing Stevenson next week. Let's shut down Carly Bowes. Well, then we're just, just going to elevate a whole bunch of our other players. So, um, you know, we like that we're going to be difficult to scout down the road. Not just offensively. Junior Mac Ferguson and Kate, yeah. she has 10-plus mm -hmm. saves in four of her last right. five games. Talk about her play this year. You know, her she's putting the, the work in this year, which is really starting to show, and, and it makes me extremely happy. Uh, Mac comes to individual sessions uh, several times a week now, which is something we weren't able to do with her. Um, she is very focused in practice. She is uh, becoming just an amazing communicator and leader of that defense back there. So it's not only that she's making the saves, we're doing a whole lot of talking in practice and with the defense about delivering shots Mac can handle. And we're all on the same page with that. If, if Mac's going to get a shot on her, it's not going to be between the pipes and it's not going to be something that she can't handle. And because of that, we've seen her save increase go up. Um, because of her hard work, we've seen her save, or save numbers go up. And I really don't want to overlook the fact that that is an eight-player contribution to that defensive end. There are seven field players in Mac, and they're all working in unison to showcase Mac's best skill. Um, I'm really proud of what she's, what she's done, and I'm really proud of that defense set for protecting her in the way that they have the last four or five games. Well, that defense and your Mac Commonwealth opener against Lebanon Valley held held them to seven goals. Mm -hmm. You lost to LVC the past two years. You opened the conference play with a win, and now you're getting into the, the nitty-gritty of mm -hmm. conference play. What does your team have to do to continue this win streak? We have to continue to bring uh, a lot of the younger players along. Um, the, the last game or so, I have not seen the – I should say the last game because we had plenty of offensive output in against Elizabethtown. I would have liked to have seen more of an offensive output against Lebanon Valley and make that more of a comfortable win. So we're going to continue working on that. We've got you know a beautiful day out there today, even though spring refuses to come and it's 32 degrees or whatever it is out there today. Um, we're going to get some hard work offensively in today uh, to really try to, um, you know, we have today, tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, input some new plays. Uh, continue with our lacrosse IQ of when we have the ball and how we move off of the people that uh, we want shooting or driving to the cage. Um, I'm, I'm excited about this week. 
Well, Coach, we wish you the yes. best of luck moving forward, and we'll see you back Thank here you. in a few weeks. Thank you very much. For head coach Kathy Raley, I'm Sam Murray, and this has been the Kathy Raley Show.